you. Birmingham now one step closer to hosting the United States Football League. Today, the Greater Birmingham Convention and Visitors Bureau made the first financial commitment to support the first season here in Birmingham. CBS 42 News reporter Marina Bach live at Protector Stadium with more. Marina. Yeah, Art, today big news. The board agreed to commit $2 million that will go towards expenses for that league here in the Birmingham area. But it doesn't meet the goal that was needed, $3.6 million. Now it's time to turn to other stakeholders in the community to see if they're able to contribute. During Thursday's meeting, the Board of Birmingham Business Bureau agreed to financially support hosting the first season of the new Fox Sports owned USFL. I wanted to have it be a good thing for the, for the city of Birmingham, for the county, and the state if it happens. But we got to make sure we're not throwing good money at the bad money. To cover the $3.6 million price tag associated with hosting the eight teams in the city for 12 weeks, the board will contribute, but they need the city, county, and private sector's help. Our board committed to up to $2 million uh, for, the, uh, for the expenses that are going to be outlaid by the BJCC. This is a huge commitment for our organization, way beyond anything we've ever done. But we feel like it's important for the city. The board says they're hopeful to see a return on the investment. The predicted economic impact of the league is over $16 million. And I think that level of exposure that we'll receive you know, from the networks that are involved is, is good. Uh, it, it showcases Protective Stadium, which is a fantastic facility, and it'll showcase our city, uh, you know, which continues to be progressive and, and you know, grow and, and do great things. The league would bring a fresh start to the city, and there is a potential for growth. Fox Sports says they plan to have four teams in Birmingham for its second season. A lot of teams come here and fail. I saw a stadium fail here, and they, they drew fans galore. And so I wanted to make sure that if we invest any money in this thing, in this, in this game, that we have a guarantee they're going to stay here and be here for the long run and not a, not a happy honeymoon and then they, go, they have a divorce. We did reach out to the city of Birmingham and the mayor's office just asking for comment if they're planning to make a financial contribution to this effort here in Birmingham. And we were told at this time they're making no comment. Reporting live in Birmingham, Marina Bach, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.